14a is another nice 8 marker and a real life differentiation problem. So, an open topped fish tank is to be made for an aquarium. Lovely. Uh, it will have a square horizontal base and vertical rectangular sides. The materials cost £15 per meter squared for the base, £8 per meter square for the sides. Modelling the sides and base of the fish tank as a laminate show basically material that has no thickness. We want to use calculus to find the height for which the cost of the materials is a minimum and fully justify our answer. Okay, so let's first of all then define our dimensions. So let's say let x be uh, the size of the base. and h the height of the tank okay so with that uh, the area of the base is x squared meters squared and the area of well the area of one side would be x h we've got four sides so we're going to use four x h so the area of the four sides is 4xh. Now from that we know the cost of the base. Well, it's Fifteen pounds per meter squared. So the cost of the base is uh, in pounds is fifteen x squared, and the cost of sides in pounds is. 8 times 4xh, so 32xh. Okay, so now we can get an expression for the total cost. So we're just going to call that C. The total cost then is 15x squared. Uh, add 32xh. Now then, what we're going to need to do, we want to find uh, the minimum value of the cost. So what we're going to need to do is differentiate the expression for cost. However, at the moment, we can't do that because cost is now in terms of two different dimensions x and h so what we now need to do is uh, find a way to eliminate one of the variables to do that we're going to use the fact that the volume has to be 60 meters cubed okay then so let's start thinking about what we know about the volume 
So, in terms of x and h, the volume is going to be x squared h. Now we know from the question that that has to be uh, 16. Okay, so what we can now do using this is get an expression for h in terms of x or x in terms of h. Now, if we uh, make x a subject, we're going to be dealing with square roots and it's not going to be very nice. So, what I'm going to do is get h in terms of x. So, h is equal to 16 over x squared. Cool. So, what we're now going to do is eliminate h in our expression for the total cost and then we're going to be able to start using calculus. So, the expression now for our cost is 15x squared and then add 32 lots of well, we got x times h, so that's going to be 60x over x squared. So that's going to cancel to 60 over x. So let's just simplify that last term. Cost is 15x squared add. 32 times 60, what's that? That's 1920 over x. So now that we have our expression for the cost in terms of one variable, we can now start to differentiate. Yay. Okay, so let's write c as 15x squared add 1920x to the minus 1. Now, dc by dx is going to be 30x minus 1920 x to the minus 2 all over x squared. Now, at a stationary point of which a minimum is a type, uh, dc by dx is equal to 0. So, for minimum set dc by dx equal to 0, so 30x minus 1, 9, 2, oh, over x squared is equal to 0. So this is now going to allow us to find the value of x. So let's multiply through by x squared. Then we get 30x cubed minus 1920 is equal to 0. 30x cubed is equal to 1920. Divide through by 30 x cubed is, why don't I do this before the question, uh, 64. And then if we cube root that very nicely, 
we get a whole number four. Now, what we now need to check is that that is a minimum value. And we're going to need more room. So, I'm going to clear this up. Okay, so to check that this is a minimum value of uh, the cost when x is equal to 4, we need to find the second derivative and we need it to be positive because we want a minimum. So, t squared c pi dx squared is going to be 30 uh, add. Okay, so remember it's 1920x to the minus 2. So we're going to get minus 2 lots of minus 1920, which is 3840 over x cubed. Now, x uh, when x is equal to 4 we can see that d squared c over dx squared is going to be positive because we're going to get 30 add a positive number divided by a positive number so you could work out that number if you like I think you would get away though it's just saying that d squared c by dx squared is greater than zero. So when x is for c the cost is a minimum. Okay, so we need to do one more thing. Remember this whole adventure was about finding the height of the tank so that the cost is a minimum. So, now we're going back to x squared h is equal to 16 x is 4 so x is 4 implies 16, h is equal to 60, h is 60 over 16 which is 15 over 4 which is 3.75 Meters. Job done. Nice question. I enjoyed that. Okay, then for part B, we are told, in fact, uh, the thickness of the sides and base is 2.5 centimeters. Uh, we want to briefly explain how we would refine our model to take into account this thickness. Show sure, a diagram. For this would be really useful, and that is exactly what we have here. So say that this middle part is our base. Now this is a bird's eye view. Now what we can see is for the sides to join together, there's going to need to be some overlap. So we know. These lengths are 4 meters. Now, at this overlap, we know that this distance here is 2.5 centimeters. Now, in terms of meters, that's 0 0.0. .0 to 5 meters. So, there's going to be that same overlap 
down here as well. So again, that's 0 0.00 to 5 meters. So what's going to happen here is two of the sides are going to need to be x plus two lots of 0 0.00 to 5 meters. So, uh, to join together the sides need to overlap so two sides need to be x add two lots of 0 0.0025 is 0 0.05 meters. So that is how we would refine our model. Okay, and then part C asks us how would your refinement reflect your answer to part A. So, what we're using, uh, we need slightly more material. But if we think about it in terms of the dimensions of the original tank, it's tiny. We are adding on 0 0.05 meters to two of the side lengths. So we could say, well, it would increase the cost slightly. Uh, so we cost would increase slightly but the increase is incredibly small. So we could say but on an extremely small scale, anything like that, and you would be golden. Question 14, done.